This is a cast of a skeleton of a small female sperm whale. I guess the thing that catches the attention is the lower jaw lined with these curved backwards facing teeth. But weirdly, it seems that actually the predatory weapon of the sperm whale is up here. This is where the bulk of the head sits, and it is immense. It could make up as much as a third of the animal's body length. Almost all of this is filled with spermaceti, that waxy, oily liquid. The sounds that the sperm whale generates are bizarrely created at the front of the nose, travel back through the spermaceti until they hit this portion of the skull, which is shaped like a satellite dish, a parabola. And it focuses and intensifies the sounds as they pass back through the spermaceti and then out at this end of the animal. This beam of sound bounces off objects in the water. By listening to the echoes, sperm whales build up a three-dimensional picture of their surroundings. Using this system, they can hunt in total darkness over a 1,000 metres underwater. To feel the force of these sounds for myself, I'm heading back out to sea. We have a mother and her calf approaching from this side, travelling very quickly. And three animals travelling from this side, and it looks like their paths are going to converge right in front of us. It's possible this could be exactly what we've been waiting for. If it's a family group, there's likely to be a lot of communication. This is my chance to feel the power of sperm whale sonar. Oh, I've dropped right into the middle of a group of socialising sperm whales. And the sound is overwhelming. The largest males can generate 230 decibels, far louder than a jet plane taking off. Whales seem to be scanning me, firing sonar at my body and visualising its shape by listening to the echoes. It's highly directional. As the barrel of the whale's head turns towards me, I can feel the sound resonating through my whole body. And she's giving me a good eyeballing. The biggest sperm whales can be 20 metres long and four times heavier than a fire engine. Physically, I have little in common with this supergiant, yet I feel closer to it than any of the others. We're both creatures with close family bonds. A real sense of curiosity and a desire to communicate.